From Cartman feeding Scott his own parents, to Kyle straight up shanking Jesus with a shiv in prison, here are the times South Park took jokes too far. Butters, come on, we gotta go! Okay, where? I guess our witches were gonna sacrifice your witch, but then the bad witch showed up and now the witch we call just arrived. There's witches everywhere! Holy moly! Brought to us by the brilliant minds of Matt Stone and Trey Parker, there's no doubt that the show is groundbreaking, and as it was made for an older audience, its content can get a little saucy. And while they've been entertaining us for the past 22 years, South Park does tend to cross the line almost all of the time. Remember when they tried to make cannibalism funny? In Season 5's episode, Scott Tennerman Must Die, Cartman was bullied by 8th grader Scott Tennerman. Scott tricked him into buying an older boy's pubic hair so he could finally go through puberty. Eric, being Eric, decided to take his revenge by killing Scott, and he does it in the worst way imaginable. As part of his plan, he trained a pony to bite off Scott's wiener. But see, that was just a ruse to throw him off his scent. Cartman then holds a chili con carnival so that the chilling, loving 8th grader would be drawn in. Once there, he eats a bunch of chili, only to find out that Cartman had murdered his parents, then cut them up with a hacksaw and put them in his own chili. Of course, Scott started to cry. I mean, who wouldn't? And what did the horrible Cartman do? He licked his tears. Fans at home and all the people at the carnival couldn't believe what they'd just seen. I mean, even for someone like Cartman, this was a little too much and everyone hated him for it. But obviously, Eric isn't the only South Park resident that takes things too far. Sometimes the town gets into the mob mentality as well. Remember when they decided to sacrifice Britney Spears? It happened in season 12's episode titled Britney's New Look. Right from the get-go, the town's behavior towards the pop star is the clearest sign that they're all crazy. The boys think they can make money by becoming reporters and selling some not-safe-for-work pictures of Britney. The whole thing turns into this big scandal, and the oops, I did it again. Singer tries to off herself, but stops when the boys tell her that they would help her reunite with her kid. As expected, the plan goes horribly wrong, and Britney ends up with her head cut off. This isn't even the worst part. The entire town kept making fun of her judging her for the smallest things, and even touching on her tragic life story, while the guys behind the whole fiasco felt guilty for driving her to the edge. By the end of the episode, it turns out that the bullying is part of a strange sacrificial ritual, similar to the lottery, where the community picks a young star and insults them until they're either forced to take their own lives or pass away, all for the greater good, which in this case is a good crop harvest. Even though the point of the episode was to show how badly celebrities are treated, it was one of the scariest episodes South Park ever made. But if you think that's bad, you'll hate this next one. Because season 13's Butters Bottom Bitch is truly horrifying. When the boys find out that Butters had never been kissed, they decide to change that. The group thinks the best way to go would be to hire someone. And that causes a light bulb to go off in Butters' head, leading him to start his own business, where he would sell the kisses of young women for a lot of money. Long story short, he ends up becoming a pimp. His business skyrockets as women from all over South Park came to work there. Butter's way of doing business quickly becomes popular, not only with schoolgirls selling chaste kisses, but also with adult women selling a wider range of sexual services. You can probably guess what happens next. All this newfound power and fame goes straight to his head, and he turns him into a typical abusive pimp. Besides Butters becoming the biggest jerk out there, I can't get over the fact that someone thought it was okay to make an episode about child prostitution and try to make it funny. But what else can you expect from Stone and Parker, though? They've even made jokes about HIV. In season 12, the horrible Cartman actually injects Kyle with it. Why? Well, because he needed to get his tonsils taken out and was scared, like most kids are. He didn't want to go to the operating table at first, but his mother bribed him with ice cream, and the operation continues. When he wakes up, his tonsils have been taken out, and he has HIV because of a bad blood transfusion. As always, Kyle finds it hilarious. And of course, that didn't sit well with Cartman. In his thirst for revenge, he gives a sleeping Kyle a blood transfusion. If you're a fan of the show, you'd know that Cartman has done a lot of bad things in the past, and most of them were aimed at Kyle. They don't get along very well and fight a lot, but I don't think anything justifies putting someone else's life at risk. HIV is nothing to joke about, and South Park definitely crossed a line with this one. But this still wasn't even the worst thing the show did. In the South Park pandemic special, Randy spreads more COVID around. After the horrible disease destroys South Park, Randy thinks that a sale at Tegrity Farms is just what the town needs. He even made a new type of cannabis for this special event and called it the pandemic special. 
As the special was promoted, scientists were trying to figure out where the disease came from. Turns out Randy had a hand in that too. He has a flashback to the day he had intimate relations with a pangolin in Wuhan, months before they found the pangolin responsible for the illness. Randy finally told Mickey that he got sick in China, but thought it was just the flu. Now that he knew he caused the pandemic, he decides to spread it further, so he injects himself with the same DNA-carrying fluid he put in the pangolin into each shot of the pandemic special to try to make a vaccine. Does that make any sense? Nope. Even though his scientific skills are well-known, the most combative geologist in town probably isn't the best person to build, test, and give a vaccine. Plus, something that devastated so many people shouldn't be used as a funny little anecdote. But what's worse than making fun of the pandemic? Let me tell you, making fun of the disabled, and you already know that South Park has done that too. In the season 8's episode, Up the Down Steroids, Cartman lies his way into the Special Olympics. Eric comes up with the most problematic plan you'd ever hear, as Jimmy and Timmy get ready for the Special Olympics. Since there's a $1,000 cash prize for the best runner, he thinks that he could just pretend to be slow and win the money. Strangely, nobody seems to mind when Cartman decides to do the same thing. When Kyle tries to expose him, he just claims that Kyle wouldn't, because that would make him a tattletale. What Eric's mother says next is even stranger. She said no at first, but when Eric told her about the prize, she changed her mind and said she would help. I mean, South Park has done some horrible things, but making fun of the disabled in the Special Olympics crosses so many lines. It's not even funny. While we're on Kyle and his dumb schemes, let me take you to the time he straight up murdered a religious leader. I wish I was making this stuff up. In the Fantastic Easter special, Stan was put in charge of keeping St. Peter's grandson safe, while Vatican ninjas take Randy away because he was part of a cult that worshipped rabbits and believed that St. Peter was a bunny. Stan prayed to Jesus for wisdom and help, and Jesus helped him get rid of the non-rabbit pope. However, the president of the American Catholic League put the pope, Stan, Kyle, and Jesus in jail for blasphemy. Kyle then asks Jesus, who is in the same cell with him, if he has any skills that could help them. Jesus tells him that he won't be able to use his powers until after he dies. So the Lord pulls out a shiv and gives it to Kyle. He knew exactly what to do, kind of afraid at first. He does what he's told and shanks Jesus Christ so that they could get out of jail. On that super controversial note, there you have it, folks. From Kyle straight up shanking Jesus with a shiv in prison, to Cartman feeding Scott his own parents to get his revenge, these were the times South Park took jokes too far.